Hello Aries. Welcome to June and this is your tarot reading for the month. So I hope you had a good month of May and I hope that uh, the reading from last month was helpful or relevant for you. I am just going to burn our sage as usual. And around the cards we're going to pick three cards for your month. So just shuffling and focusing for you, Aries for June, Aries for June, Aries for June. All right, first card is Seven of Swords. Second card, Prince of Cups. Third card, Nine of Cups. Well, Seven of, of uh, Swords means it's usually time to move. Sometimes it's literally moving house, moving residence, um, relocating even city, country. Um, sometimes it just simply means it's time to walk away as if you're moving. So it's a card of um, walking away, moving on, relocating. So that could mean literally that you're moving. It is the month for that. Uh, coming up here in Quebec, everybody moves July 1st. <coughs> oh, pardon me. <coughs> oh, I don't sneeze very much. Maybe there's something in there for you. Um, a... Anyway, so clearing the, uh, clearing the air before you move, getting uh, your belongings in order, um, making up your mind and um, figuring out what or who or what situation or place or relationship are you walking away or moving away from it the card here um, in this deck the Toth deck is futility futility seven of swords so it's sort of time when it's like it is not it's not worth it move on walk away the Prince of Cups and the Nine of Cups are very happy after that so the Prince of Cups is a sensitive and creative and you know thoughtful nice kind of guy could be a younger person in your life who's like this if not it's uh, if it's an adult then you know he or possibly she but it's a he card um, is just really sweet um, however insecure and has trouble making commitments because of that a little spacey sometimes little hard to get them to step up or put their foot down or say no to things this could be the person in the reading if it's not you um, and this is someone close to you this could be the person who also needs to walk away or move on um, and the Nine of Cups is a beautiful card. It says happiness. Jupiter in Pisces. Bursting with happiness and creativity and flow and good relations and love. and So um, overall, I would say that these two cards at the end mean that if you can summon the courage to move on, move forward, walk away, quit say what you need to say, put your foot down, no more, sayonara, whatever it is, wherever that resonates in your life, if you can do that, it looks like you're going to be a lot happier. You could meet somebody new or get closer to somebody, um, feel like you're in a more abundant kind of time than you've been in a long time. So if you're moving, um, maybe this is your next neighbor, maybe this is your next landlord, Maybe it's a friend you're going to meet in the neighborhood. Maybe you're moving in with this person, this happy person. Or maybe someone moving with you or moving on with you, um, whether that's, uh, you know, a partner, a child, uh, a pet even. <laughs> um, if it's work, it could be a colleague, but it could be somebody coming with you. You're both happier for, the, for making the move to let go and walk away. 
So it's pretty clear, strong advice for you this month without reading Aries. Um, I hope that if you need any more help for a more personal reading, uh, if you are on this fence of that decision, you'll reach me here. Underneath this video, you can message me or you can find me at river-rain.com or find me on Facebook, Clairvoyant Medium, Catherine Allen. I hope you have a wonderful month.